a racist. Women with a big ass are not as healthy as those with a regular ass, according to Oxford. <laughs> is it right or is it racist that women with a big ass are not as healthy as those with a regular ass? Talk right in the microphone. Is it right or racist? Uh, oh, uh, uh, racist? You think it's racist? You are correct. Damn. <laughs> Researchers found Miley that... Miley melted fast. Fat tissue in the, in the ass... Acts as a barrier against heart disease, diabetes, and other illnesses. <laughs> a barrier from what? You're telling me a how fat is it, ass? How is it entering into them that that ass becomes a barrier? I don't want to know. So Kevin is uh, tied for the lead. Suddenly, Paul's early lead does not look quite so Fucking insurmountable. Fucking disintegrated like the <laughs> All right, Black Tom. Uh-oh. Studies prove that those with a better memory is a sign that they are more intelligent. If they have a better memory, they are more intelligent. Is that right or is that racist? Sounds like a That's trick right. question to me. Tom says it's right. Tom is wrong. <laughs> per the study, forgetting is a key part of learning and decision making. The brain should forget small details to maintain for room and focus on oh, learning. I need a picture of that card. So I need to prove that to mm -hmm. my wife. <laughs> 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 I forget, honey, because I'm smarter than you. Oh, yeah, that's going to uh -oh. go overwhelmed. And that's how the divorce proceedings start. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, in America, 67% of gym memberships go unused, as uh, reported by USA Today in 2016. 67% of gym memberships go unused. Two-thirds? Mm -hmm. Two-thirds. Is that right or 67% sounds like a really specific number to pull out your butt. So I think I'm going to say it's, I mean, it doesn't sound right to me, but I'm going to say right. It is correct, in case oh, you were wondering why America oh. has an obesity problem and a debt problem. Like people buy the membership so they feel the good. I got, a, I got a membership. I'll, I'll start next week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Paul now has two. Colby. It's the first time I've ever had two points in this Here we game. go. It is. I have a chance. Paul normally finishes in negative numbers. All right. <laughs> Colby. Among whites, blacks, and Hispanics... Hispanics' attitudes about the rise of women in the workforce was the least positive among those groups. So again, among whites, blacks, and Hispanics, Hispanics had the least positive attitude about the rise of women in the workplace. Is that right or is that racist? Make me a sandwich. Stop it. <laughs> I'm going to say right. It would be racist. Hispanics <laughs> had the most positive attitudes about women in the workplace. You blew that, didn't I did, you, man? I did. Blacks I did. were second most positive. You're right. <laughs> whites, whites was the least positive. Mm -hmm. About. Mm, I, I believe uh, that though. I I really I'm do. I'm surprised. Huh. We talked about this, That's man. Right. Once we gave him the right to vote, it was downhill. Oh. Remember, it was just an apple. Take a bite. Mm. Trump is a white guy after all. Can't all right. Paul win this. I'll never get that. <laughs> Kevin Nelson. <laughs> Here we go. Between 2008 and 2016. Among extremist terrorism on American soil, Islamic extremists killed more people than right-wing extremists. Between 2008 and 2016, did Islamic extremists kill more people than right-wing extremists, according to the HuffPost? Is that right or racist? Mm, think, um, think about the vetting the source. HuffPost. Uh, racist. You'd be incorrect. It's actually correct. Islamic extremists killed more people ninety than right wing extremists seventy nine. Because you had you had. Are we really at a point right here? Paul could win. Shut up, Dennis. No, no, no. What would his next question maybe? Damn, Dennis. What did I do to you? All right, Dennis. Like you want the list? Tom, this is Tom. This is right up your alley, man. Pre COVID or after? Here you go, Tom. This is right up your alley, man. I'm scared. Three of the top five countries that search for gay porn are Western countries, meaning Western Europe, the U.S., and Canada. Three of the According top to five. Google search rating, rankings, three of the five countries that search for gay porn, gay porn are Western countries. Is that right or racist? It's totally I'm right. I'm going to go it's with totally right. right. Yeah, it's totally right. It is wrong. Oh, None of the top five countries are Western countries. The top five are Kenya, South Africa, Nigeria, Pakistan, and India. 
Oh, I would have figured the United States was wow. number one. Me too. You know, also, so wow. some place where it's legal to be gay. <laughs> Keep in mind, you had 92% of Kenyans say homosexuality is unacceptable. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a lot of closeted people. Paul, Paul could actually Dylan win. <laughs> Paul could actually win. Dylan. I'm, I'm, you I'm, want a bun? <laughs> Light? I'm getting these debate. I think I've got a big old goose egg. Don't getting these debate cards out because that's I don't know how those work. I think Kevin's literally going through. I can't. No, look these are like, to find a really no, good one here. These are like these are like <laughs> time. Yeah. To play like yeah. Debate cards. And Whatever you say, Kevin. It's your game. Tell it how you want. <laughs> here we go, Paul. Right up your alley again. Uh, great. It's a gay porn one. According to a research study, <laughs> Fox study. News. Fox News is the least trusted among American TV news channels, including Fox News, PBS, CNN, MSNBC, CBS, NBC, and ABC. Is Fox News the least trusted among American news channels? Is that right or racist? Well, it's it's the only conservative news source. All the others are slanted varying degrees to the left, center, center, left. So, you got to, I mean, if it was uh, by the numbers, yeah, I'd say, I'd say, yeah, it's right. It's racist. Thank Fox you, News Jesus, was actually that. rated as the most trusted among American TV news channels. The BBC was least trusted, and CNN was second. That's because they're Canadian. Wow. So you guys have a chance to catch up with Paul now, Colby. We do. We do. Huh. This involves a map, so we're not going to use that one. That's good. What, do you think just because he plays paintball people, he can't read a map? Because the I, I, people I on, on the yeah, screen can't, can't see it. Wow, that's a question. All right. Colby. I'm ready. Gentrification is proven to lead to significant drops in crime rates in the respective neighborhood, according to an analysis on neighborhoods in Boston, New York, San Francisco, Seattle, and D.C. between uh, 1970 and 1984. Gentrification, which means getting older, Trojo, look it up, <laughs> has proven to lead to significant drops in crime rates in respective neighborhoods. Is that right or racist? Right. It is racist. Ah! Oh, oh, little to no effect in property crime, only a small effect on personal crime rates. Kevin Nelson. I'd say I need you to blow this one, but I don't want you to take it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, Kevin Nelson? Yeah. Nine, uh, accorded, uh, uh, reported by DoSomething.org. 91% of the world's HIV-positive children live in Africa. Do 91% of the world's HIV-positive children <clears throat> live in Africa? Is that right or racist? Uh, right? It is right. Uh -huh. Good answer, Kevin. Good That's answer. That's what I would guess. Now, I read. <laughs> Tom, uh -oh. with no points. Goose egg. This one's like Tom. Tom's sex life. Is According to a 2018 study published by the Journal of Development of Learning Organizations. What do you say? Huh? Hello? Oh, what they, said. A 2018 study published by the Journal of Development and Learning Organizations. Okay. 70% of female executives feel that men try to block their professional ambitions and that they are bullied by men in the workplace. 70% of female executives. They said they feel that they are... They feel that men try to block their professional ambitions whole, and that they are bullied by men in the workplace. Is that right or racist? percentage, man. That is a big number. <clears throat> big number, big number, no whammy. I know there's a percentage of it, but I think that number is too big. So I'm going to say no. You think it's racist? I think it's racist. You'd be right. It's the, actually the opposite. 70% of female executives feel other women bully them and mm -hmm. try to block their professional growth. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. but somehow it's still a man's fault. All right. I'd have never figured that twist. Okay. <laughs> nice job, Tom. Where'd he go? All right. <laughs> All right, here we go, Paul. <laughs> this is, talk about it being, you know, the collapse like being televised. Oddly fitting for Paul. 88% of people stalk their ex on Facebook, based on a survey of people aged 18 to 35, as reported by the Huff Post in 2012. Do 88% of people stalk their ex? A large number. That is a really large mm. number. 
But I have wait, wait. no clue what that is. Hold on, hold on. I have a clarification. I have a clarification. Have a clarification. What's your clarification? Is it all people or was it a specific gender? I was it just says that people. very same thing. So it it's going to be all people. So 88% uh, of all people stalk their ex on man, Facebook. That's a big number, man. You, what was your clarification? Tom? Oh, I was going to ask the same thing because oh, I was going to say if it was eighty-eight percent of women, right. I would say yes. Yeah. <laughs> but eighty-eight percent of people. You don't think men are just as likely to do it though? Because men have men a are, jealousy streak. I think men are less likely. Okay. Kevin, can, let, can uh, I ask? Is this like a spelling bee? Do I get to ask a question? You can ask a question. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> you I have no other. How many of your exes have you um, gone to look up on Facebook? After the fact. Do you give me a window? Like, Answer the question. No, I mean, I mean, like, do you give me like within a week, within a month, within a year? <laughs> within a year. We only have a minute, fifteen seconds left. All right, hurry up. We have more than that. Go, go, one. hurry. Do you? How many? Thirty uh, percent, maybe. You only stalk thirty percent of them. I don't consider it stalking. But that makes you a hundred percent guilty. So I I'll only, say yes. But I only look if I hear from them. Like, okay, for example, I talked to Jordan. I didn't ask us to keep going. I, I, I just said yes. I talked to Jordan's mom uh, last week uh -huh. because um, she had heard about my mom's pension. <laughs> okay. So she reached well, out that's, and that's had nice She let you see your daughter? No, of course the fuck not. <laughs> what a bitch. I hate you! Die! All right, anyway. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but I did go look at her page because I was curious if life was going well for her and I prayed that it wasn't. Was still By the crack. way, Kevin's uh, comments do not necessarily <laughs> reflect Outlaw okay, Radio Network. You two both talked over each other. So, Dennis, what did you say? Lori, <laughs> 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 and you said? I said Kevin's comments do not necessarily reflect Outlaw Radio Network.com. <laughs> but they do. <laughs> right. I'm going to say yes, 88% of people stalk their exes. All right. And that would be absolutely correct. Oh. So, Paul, Yay! hold on. Paul hasn't won. I know. I haven't won yet. Well, hasn't Kevin won. Nelson has to answer a question okay. because he was tied with. So, oh, you two are eliminated. Sorry. All right. Oh, no, it's oh, fucking PayPal. Yeah. I was dying. Yeah. I know. Here we go. <laughs> I was good at that. <laughs> this is a great one. <laughs> Kevin, is this right or racist? This is a great question. Are you live blogging this, Kevin? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> All right. Kevin, yeah, yeah. in China, <laughs> drivers who have injured pedestrians will often try to kill them again by running them over again and again until they're dead. What? <laughs> the Chinese language even has a saying, it is better to hit to kill than to hit and injure. Is that right? Or is Same that racist? Florida. I thought you said the Chinese were harmless, Tom. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think on this one, I, I think I may have to go with uh, right. You think it's right? I haven't looked. I'm afraid to look. <laughs> It's right. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like gun oh policy God. here in America. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me give you background. Compensation oh, for, for killing someone sake. in an accident. <laughs> this close. Listen, compensation to killing someone in an accident can be thirty to 50000 Once payment is made, the matter is over. <clears throat> However, paying for a disabled survivor's lifelong care can cost much more. Drivers who hit and kill do so because killing is economical. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn. That sounds, like, that sounds like firearm policy here. You know, when someone breaks into your house, shoot for center mass. Don't maim them because you'll end up in court. Yeah, kill then I'll be defending. Yeah, yeah you'll kill them. Yeah, yeah. Drag your body back oh, in the house. <laughs> so now we are yeah. in sudden death. So when, the, when the officer says, "Why are there blood marks and tracks along your front porch into the house?" <laughs> I don't. Know. What in the world? All right, sudden death. Here's how sudden death works. I'm going to ask the question, and you're both going to answer it. Oh. So if you both agree, then it's not going to make a change. But if you guys disagree, then oh, oh, stress. All right. So Paul, you're going to answer first this time. I thought we were both answering. You're both going to answer, but one of you has to answer first. So we'll rotate that, okay? He won't reveal the answer until until you both answered. Yeah. So there's no advantage. A survey conducted. Chinese mother. Showing women a picture of a man. 90% of the women thought the man was attractive when they believed he was taken. But when they found out he was single, only 59% thought he was attractive. So in short, 90% of women were attracted to the man when he thought he was uh, when he thought he was taken, but he lost attractiveness when women found him found out he was single. Is that right or racist, Paul? That number seems way too high, but I'll say right. You think it's right, Kevin Nelson? Is that right, or is that racist? Seeing my doom. Talk, give, give, right him the mic, give him the, give him the, give him the oh, microphone. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Tom. I'm sorry. 
Um. Go be safe. Say it's right. Thinking racist. You think it's racist? So this will decide the game. Yeah. Is it right or is it racist? Better be ready to hand Kevin another trophy, another sweatshirt. It is correct. Oh! <laughs> it is correct. Women found taking men to be more attractive than single men. That's why I always wear a face. So wig. Paul has actually won. Can we? Can we just what? Please. What? Wow! 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 not really fake. I love you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you'll be home tomorrow. That's probably why I'm single. Because I've been single for a long time. Yeah, wear, wear, wear a fake ring, dude. It turn, it's dude women will be no, it's a real ring. Because they'll I think mean... that you're able to actually commit and settle down. Well, <laughs> whoops! I'm not asking you to misrepresent yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shut up, Paul. Wait, wait. Did I win? You won. You yeah. won. Sadly. It's the music. No. It's the music. <laughs> you know what band did this music, Kevin? I bet Colby knows. Do you know who did this song? How old do you think I am? I don't know. 25? 26? Oh, I don't think I am. <laughs> 34, but I'll take it because it's a gentleman. All right. Oh. So uh, a challenge has been issued in the chat. Oh. Well, the show's over, so there's well, no challenges accepted. When a challenge over. has been issued in the chat. Uh-huh. The old school ballers oh, have challenged Kevin, Paul, and Colby oh. in a match, a paintball match. I'll take video. Kevin, Paul, and Colby. Well, what about what about Tom and Lori? What about Kevin There's Nelson? There's five of them. Even Kevin <laughs> Nelson. There's five of them. Why don't we get five? Yeah, are there five people in the... They got five people on their team. What a bunch there's, of pussies, man. There's like two hey, there's one. five of us. <laughs> We're going to challenge three of you to a match. <laughs> <laughs> two of you are almost octogenarians, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Idiots. What? Well, three, actually. Look, I'm fucking down. I will. Are, are I will absolutely do it. Yeah, I, I can't do it Saturday. I know I'm, none of these fuckers can shoot straight. So. I can't they do it can't, Saturday. They I cannot shoot at all. It's I gotta drive this damn wood on. I Saturday. know. I make so much money off it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta drive this damn wood on. It Saturday. doesn't have to be this Saturday. That's a, no, that say, let's, let's, let's figure it out. No, they yeah, just, they issued the challenge. We'll figure it out. I get to go back to the homeland this weekend. Get me some lefse. You want some lefse or you want some donuts? Did you say you're going back to the homeland? The homeland. I grew up in Stanwood. Yeah, I mean, is that like a casino or? No, no, no. no. I was raised in Stanwood. Stanwood's Stanwood's home. Yeah. Stanwood. Stanwood is home. Yeah. I thought it was like I thought it was like the armpit of Washington or something. Stanwood is gorgeous. Stanwood's beautiful. Stanwood's like no, the armpit of Washington is in Gorse. That's true too. Mm-hmm. I'll take a cookie from the cookie mill. All right. Well, send me a send me what you want kind of cookie you want from the cookie mill. Just tell yeah. me what you want. Well, listen, you little shits, you're on. We'll just work out a date and we'll let you know. Yeah. Let me know. It's got to be a Saturday. I need two weeks in advance because i got to repost it off. In the Sean, station. bring all your teeth. Oh. <laughs> Maybe some working markers, wow. too. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. He, I had can't, a girl. he can't fix shit. His guns go down all the time. All their guns oh. go down all the time. <laughs> I had a gun tech when I played. Hey, Sean, I, mean, I just handed out, my man. shit off oh. and here. Oh. You've been called out, man. And our oh. gun tech was bad. Kevin Nelson, did you have fun tonight? Are you glad you came in? Uh, yeah. You know, you don't have to win another drawing to come in. You just let us know. You can come in whenever you want. Oh, okay. You're good, man. You're good support of the show. We appreciate it. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, the, the only thing I have... Yeah, but Trojo quit coming though, so it's all good. <laughs> Pump stock I was, class. I thought he was talking about... Yeah. Um, yeah. The, oh, God, now I can't remember his name. Oh, it doesn't matter. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, you need another short guy in studio, so... <laughs> <laughs> Keeps the conversations limited. Well, you know, Colleague oh. always accuses of us uh, of only supporting white people, so we just we wanted to keep that, that trend going. Sorry, Trojo. Suck it. All right. Um, Damn. Do you have any parting shots, Kevin Nelson? Anything you want to say or talk about before um, the show? Was it everything you hoped it'd be? Did you have a good time? Yeah. Meet okay. the woman of your dreams here. <laughs> <laughs> She's the only woman here. So. No, only, I told you, man. Only, I don't want to play paintball against her. She scares the shit out of me. It's always the quiet ones. <laughs> the, uh, my parting shot is just be good. If you can't be good, then be careful or at least be good at it. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. <clears throat> Dennis, do you have any parting shot? Oh, hold on. Colby, do you have any parting shot? Do you want to say anything about the... The paintball plays, or uh, about how Sean's just worthless, or anything else. You want to be to be com- to be completely fair, though, they have they definitely have grown so much from when they first started. They played my first ever tournament <laughs> last October, and they have shown up nonstop to practices and just became a solid team. So they they definitely have grown. So 
But none of them have girlfriends, right? And that's why they're out there every weekend. That is also true. None of them have girlfriends. That, and you make friends that way, though. You make good friends, and they become very good friends. And so uh, I'm very looking forward to kicking their ass. <laughs> yeah, oh. we're going to have to get a slaughter. Right. We're going to walk right oh. over them like a cakewalk. Oh, the shit oh, talk is never done. done. You should do like a Red Dawn date oh. style. Yes. Ooh, that would be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There yes. Is. Yeah. <laughs> do you have like little chops, too? Put speakers out there and play the, <laughs> play I the do have soundtrack. speakers out there. Yeah. Play the soundtrack. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, back in the day, there used to be a, a 24-hour game. Yep. Uh, out near, what was it, near Sultan, I think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and the, there was a battle over a train trestle, but every, like, hour or something, they would they would get, um, like, Coast Guard-grade smoke bombs, and they would smoke fields out and stuff, and there'd be big, you know, air quotes, troop movements around because the huge smoke clouds, I mean, it was so much fun. Do you do special events? Like if a, if a church called you and said, we have, yep, we have definitely done We have uh, a youth group of like 60 kids, yep. we want to bring them out. There's one uh, huge church right next door and they, they, they come out all the time. That's the one across the street? Yep, it is. Yeah. Yep, That's they, cool. They, they <laughs> come out and they even rented out just the, the, just the wood ball field for um, laser tag. I'm gonna talk to the youth pastor so, at my church. Oh. Yeah, I, it's, it's been great. And then I also just started doing, I forgot to tell you guys, <clears> I started doing uh, some night balls. So we have glow in the dark paint yes. balls. Yeah. Sean realize. got me to shoot those the other day for the oh. first time, and uh, I was like, this is, I mean, it's so far removed. I mean, I had a Puma and a Bobcat were the guns I had. That's how far back it was when I was playing before, and, and to see him launch, I mean, it was like watching a freaking laser, laser gun, beam, yeah. and it was like somebody hit Predator, because and his blood splattered. It was just, oh, so it's was cool it, is shit. it pitch black out there at night? No, no, we have like UV, uh, <clears throat> UV lights with uh, some glow, like body paint. We put all over the bunkers and stuff, and it oh, lights yeah. everything up, and then there's, uh, it's glow in the dark paint, so when, it, you, oh. when you shoot it, it literally, it's like a laser beam. It's, it's like, like Lord of the freaking, Flies meets paintball. Yeah, it's insane. Like a trace around. Yeah, oh, it is, yeah. too. It's, so it's insane. That, that's I'll all take new it. to me. I'll take you to show that back in my yeah, day. Look, yeah, Kids at Paintball Park on Facebook. I just posted videos of it and everything, too. Take a look at it. It's insane. I'll tell you a true story, and I forgot about this until Sean reminded me in the chat. Before I ever met Paul, I knew Sean. Oh. Because Sean lived across the street from me. And Sean would shoot paintballs at my house. Shooting at you. <laughs> no, at my house. Yeah, he was hitting the, the house. No, he was shooting at, at you. In the middle of the night, <laughs> wake my ass up. I would come out and there would be paintballs on the side of the house. Like paintballs <laughs> on the side of the house. <laughs> back when Moby Dick was a minnow man. Bastard. Oh, we a long time ago. Oh, we used to do dumb stuff. We'd pile into the back of uh, pickup trucks and chase each other up and down like old Belfair Highway. Shooting. Oh, it was bad. It was, it was bad. Can I bring my Jeep? Can we do that? What are you gonna I do have a Jeep. Take the back, take the take the back, off, take the back off, and have people in the back of it. But you don't get to oh, drive no, no, a Jeep. Drive, on no, the no, you can bring, you can bring your Jeep, but you didn't park it. Oh, <laughs> you can't, can't you know that? <laughs> He's like, I was gonna do my best Chinaman impression. <laughs> Damn it! So like Kevin would be like, wasn't even my idea. Was it? Oh, yeah. You, you have a good time. Oh, I had a great time. You guys have been great. I am uh, actually looking forward to giving Sean a lot of shit this weekend. You especially really nervous when you were sitting in the. In, and I, and I, I was. I was waiting. Also, I didn't know. I didn't know the show started yet. We were, like, we were well, telling jokes started, and stuff. I was afraid I was offending you. So. No, I was here at seven twenty. I heard you guys up front here talking about PayPal already. So yeah. you guys are yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. No. 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 Oh no. That you can. Uh, you, you guys can offend me. I, yeah, I have, yeah, I have one of those drive the paintball yeah, park when you pull in. Yeah, he's got he's got the right attitude. Uh, yeah, no, you guys, you guys are great. You guys are you've just been great. I can't wait to yeah. So, speaking of the glow balls though, real fast here, uh, Sean, uh, whoever did you did he tell you if he was good or not at the glow ball event? He didn't tell me how he the paint he was, sucked. The the paint was like it glows green, right? It looked like Shrek came along and <laughs> <laughs> just slaughtered all over Sean. The uh, walking cellulum lights. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Chick Trick thought you was a yeah. chick. Yeah. <laughs> I know he's talking some mad game over there, but he looked. He walked out of there like, was that, 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 that Shrek? Yeah. <laughs> wow. did. did you walk in on Shrek in the bathroom or what? <laughs> I, he might have. Right with his team. With his team. Oh my God. The team. Well, here, here's the deal. We are not going to call him Sean anymore. We're going to call him Shrek. Oh my God. I'm going to give him a paintball jersey that says Shrek on Shrek. the back. Perfect. Mm. Money perfect. right there. Perfect. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Good to have you. You're welcome anytime, too. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm serious. You can come back anytime. It was, yeah, it was great. I'm going to bring a. Uh, but talk to me drink, right? before you come. Yeah. First of all, he's not fucking gay, dude. Stop. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I hope, sorry, Colby. I'm I sorry. hope you die in a fire. Um, so what Paul did? Here's what Paul did. I want you to know how dirty Paul did you go. Oh no! Oh, Paul, no. Oh, no. Dirty. <laughs> That's what I was Paul about, was man. like, "Well, listen, let's bring him at eight thirty, so he's only here for the last half hour." Like I'd have brought you in at seven to be here for the whole fucking show. Uh, All right. Uh, All right. Um, parting shots, uh, Laura. Do you have any parting shots you want to make? No. 
Nothing? Nothing? Wait, nothing? nothing? nothing. nothing. We, don't, you, huh? we don't get the obligatory, make sure you research before you vote! Ladies, just make sure you know it's really Kevin before you date. <laughs> oh. <laughs> still, still holding out for the one, man. Damn! Still for All right. See, you gotta, you gotta test these days. What's that? I said, you gotta test these days. Yeah. You know, make sure it's a girl. Uh, yeah. I already know she's a girl. Yeah. I already know who she is. All right. Uh, Dennis, party shots? Oh! Which translated cooperate for kids. Yes. That's it? Oh. <laughs> Outstanding. That's right. Be nice to somebody. Jesus Christ. That's right. Be kind to somebody. Oh my Look God. at that. Are you calling me out, Dennis? <laughs> We're watching the Golden Rolls now. All right. Tom, do you have any morning shots? Yes. 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 What is it? Uh, happy birthday, Dad. So, uh, my dad turns uh, 73 this coming Friday. Oh, for sure. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday, Dad. Does he watch the show? Is your dad, too? Yeah. My, nice. uh, my mom. Wait a minute. Tom's mom. dad's birthday is Friday and your dad's birthday is Saturday? Uh, we're celebrating on Saturday, but yeah. Uncanny. Okay. Well, how, 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 how many years apart are you guys? What, Dennis and I? Yeah. Well, I'm the oldest of my parents' kids, and Dennis is the youngest of his But how many years kids. apart are you two? Was it six? Six. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dennis is okay. six years older Just than checking. me. Just checking. Okay. All right. Dennis, what were you going to say? I cut you I off. I mean, I'm for sorry. a couple, it's not that big of a difference. <laughs> my wife and I are eight years different. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Paul, because my hand and I are the exact same age. All right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm always the little spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Explain the words. Tom, any other party shots? No, I just uh, you know wish my wish my pops a happy birthday and. F bomb, he's still alive. All right, perfect. Paul, <laughs> party shots. I'm not sure that you want to hear my parting shot. Oh. Sure, yeah. <laughs> um, I, okay, I have one, 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 one very small parting shot. Um, if you live in Paulsbo and you're a member of the group Paulsbo for all, fuck you. I clearly mm. proved I'm not a racist. Oh. I won it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. That's it. That's my final words, man. That's and remember, just want them to know I'm not a proud sponsor of the Elba Radio Network. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I Fuckers. have two. I have two small uh, oh, parting okay. shots. Uh, one small parting shot. Paul's penis. Two. Oh. Um, oh. <laughs> and then you complain every time somebody <laughs> takes advantage of your fuck up, yeah. slip up, whatever we want to call it. Uh, my, other, my other parting shot is I, I do just want to remind you of the importance of supporting small businesses, mm-hmm. uh, especially those that are bringing entertainment options for families. Because they're, because, they're a dying because breed. Because they are a dying breed. As, as Colby mentioned earlier, you can't go roller skating out here anymore. Uh, there's far fewer bowling alleys out here than there used to be. Um, you know, the, the options for family entertainment that doesn't cost you an arm and a leg is is slowly dwindling. So, Take your family out to the paintball park. Go out to Kitsap Great Escape and play an escape room. Do things locally that support local businesses that are giving you options for your families. Because if you don't, they won't be here. And then you'll be bitching on Facebook about, God, I wish I could take my kids roller skating. Well, you could if you supported them while they were around, you schmucks. Um, so, that, yeah, that's that. Um, passionate, Kevin, passionate. No, I'm, yeah, you know. No, good. I'm, just, I'm, don't, I'm, don't be st- I'm patting you on the back without, you know, touching you. Don't be stupid fuckers. All right. Um, that'll conclude the show. Remember, we'll be back on Sunday night at 8 o'clock. Uh, share the show. Get entered into the drawing. Uh, if you love the show, really tell all your friends about it. If you hated what we did, pretend like it never happened. Then send a copy of it to <laughs> Paul's Bow for All. Paul's Bow. In fact, please tag Paul's Bow for All in the comments. Tag them. Tag all of them. Uh, and have a great night. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for supporting the show. G, I love you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Read the last comment. What? Kevin. <laughs> what? Read the last comment. Oh, did I miss a comment? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Use comments and you might get it, Kevin. Mm. <laughs> I hate you, Sean. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okie dokie. Oh. Okay. Right, so Paul, figure out a Saturday and let me know when. Okay.